Hey guys, Game Over here. In honor of the Wii Shop closing, sad face, I know, we thought we'd come at you with five great Wii games that most of you probably have missed. Yes, the Wii is often dismissed as a family-friendly console that doesn't have many offerings for hardcore gamers, but those of you that think that would be wrong, today we're going to give you five great games that we think you missed. And what are we drinking today? We are drinking Sierra Nevada's Celebration. It's a fresh hopped IPA. Yes, I love IPAs, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And Sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and enjoy this episode of Gaming Off the Grid. Here we go, five great Wii games that we think you probably missed. None of the games we're going to talk about today were in the top 50 best-selling Wii games of all time. Yeah, I know. When we were making this list, there was a bunch on our list that we were like, man, these games are incredible. But then when we looked them up, it was like, these are on the top 50 best-sellers. We can't talk about those. So we're coming to you with five great games that you probably have missed. Let's start with one of our favorites. Yes, House of the Dead 2 and 3. I believe yes. it's called House of the Dead 2 and 3 Return. These are ports of their arcade counterparts or console releases. So 2 was released on the Dreamcast originally. 3 was an arcade release as well, but was also released on the original Xbox. But you get these two amazing games in one package, and you can't beat that value. No, the value is incredible, and House of the Dead is one of our favorite series of all time. We've mentioned it so many times. And this collection is so incredible because you can play the arcade mode or you can play the home console mode and you can get more credits and there's all these like extra perks and it's so much fun. Yeah, and a little side nugget, there is another House of the Dead game on the Wii that is incredible. So just saying, if this is your thing, yes. there are a lot of options, but you can't beat two games in one package that didn't even sell within the top 50. It's a great value. And now let's move on to my favorite superhero of all time, Batman the Brave and the Bold. Yes, this was a huge find we had earlier this summer when we were out game hunting, a game that caught us completely off guard. If you're into side-scrolling beat-em-ups, kind of that Streets of Rage type feel, and Batman, this game is incredible. Yeah, it's so so sweet the art style is like very cartoony and I think it's based on the Batman the Brave and the Bold cartoon and the voice acting is really sweet and we got it for like two bucks we did a full episode on it that's how incredible this game is yeah and a lot of people probably missed it another one that a lot of people missed is a game called Sin and Punishment this is yes. called Star Successor it is the sequel to the N64 game and it's so unique and so much fun it's a rail shooter and you can play co-op and it's just kind of very unique feel and art style if you like the N64 version, you will love this. We think that this version is actually better than the N64 version. Yes, and a lot of Wii games have weird motion controls and it's kind of hard to learn the controls, but this game I felt like the controls were very simple and it, it's just very easy to jump in and start playing. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely another one that you need to pick up. The next game we're going to talk about is a licensed game based off of a very popular movie franchise. So yes, we're, we were scared too, but it is Ghostbusters the video game. This game is incredible. It's kind of like the third movie movie but it's a video game the original actors came on board to do the voice acting it was made by the same creators of the movies and this was available on all platforms but on the Wii it has like this cartoon feel and I kind of prefer it yeah it's uh, all of the games that came out on the other platforms are, are great games and will suffice being that third movie that we never got but the Wii one just has something it's got that aesthetic because I was a big fan of the Ghostbusters cartoon growing up oh yeah and, and so the movie it's kind of that middle ground you get a little bit of both and the humor is there Bill Murray is fantastic yeah, he's, in this he's game. my favorite character in the Ghostbusters universe and he's in this movie and he's the same character and anytime he sees a woman he's distracted yeah, and it's, typical it's, him. It's great. This game definitely pulls on those nostalgia strings. If you're a Ghostbusters fan and you have a Wii. And this is definitely one that you need to check out for And sure. it's two players, which is really sweet. And you basically are on the Ghostbusters team. So when you were a kid dreaming that you were a Ghostbuster, I know that I was. I had all the gear and stuff. Now you can't. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. And the co-op mode is just incredible. So it's definitely one that you need to check out. Before we talk about the last game on the list, what did you think about this seasonal beer by Sierra Nevada? 
Well, it's called Celebration, and I think it's to help celebrate the end of the year. Too bad we saved this for the beginning of the year, but I'm still celebrating. This is a pretty good IPA. Yeah, uh, I, I enjoy it. I am not an expert on IPAs by any stretch, but I think it's very good. I think it's very well balanced. Um, it has a little bit of a darker, earthier component yes. to it, I feel like. And uh, it's not too attacky or too in your face like some IPAs are, because I feel like recently, and I'm a huge IPA fan, but recently I feel like a lot of companies or beer makers they're just trying to put all their punches in IPAs and they're making them more aggressive and it's just like a show-off contest what brewery can make the most aggressive IPA and it's kind of too much but this is a nice simple IPA and I love it yeah very well balanced beer um, and if you're somebody watching who's like hey I don't really like IPAs you know I, I personally don't love them either but I really enjoy this beer, and I'm glad we have a fridge full of it because we are going to definitely enjoy it. So. <laughs> We're going to have a celebration. And speaking of celebration, let's move on to our last great Wii game. Yes, and we're probably going to mess this name up. Miramasa. Miramasa? I don't um, even know, but it's... It's like a demon blade. Yeah, the demon blade. It's like this Japanese kind of like hack and slash platformer type thing. It's just really cool. Yeah, if you're a fan of Japanese art style, hack and slash games and beat em ups. I think you will really like it. You know, it's a side-scrolling game, but it's got a weird non-linear path thing going on where you have to find things at different levels. You can't get to certain areas until you have a certain power-up or an item that would maybe be in a different level, so you have to like backtrack and go get it. And it kind of has like an RPG feel too because you have to upgrade your swords as you go <laughs> and like you can buy things at different vendors and like health and stuff, so it has that like RPG style esque, but it's also like a beat em up, and it's just a cool combination of all these sweet style of games, and then the art style is incredible. It's just a lot of fun. A small caution about this game is that it is a little bit of a slow burn comparatively yeah. to the other games on the list. I would say about that 30 to 40 minute mark is when this game clicked for us when we really started enjoying it. Yeah, I feel like the training wheels were on it for way too long. It was like, okay, I get it. Just, just let me play, and it was very linear. But then once that 30, 40 minutes passed, the game freaking like expanded, and I was like, whoa! This has a lot more to offer, and it's just really sweet. Yeah, so the rest of the games on the list are almost instantaneous gratification. Five, ten minutes, you understand what's going on, and you're going to be having a lot of fun. Take your time with the Miramasa, because it, it does take a little bit to get into it, but it is worth the toil for sure. In the comment section below, let us know if there's any Wii games that you love that you think a lot of people miss. The Wii is a great console. It's a great time to collect for the Wii. So if you have a Wii sitting in a closet somewhere and it's not hooked up, shame on you. Get that hooked up and start enjoying some games that you probably missed when it was out. And as always, we appreciate your continuous support and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming. Keep drinking. We'll see you next time on Gaming Off The Grid you with five great Wii games that you probably have missed. Far too often the Wii is de demonetized. <laughs> Far too often the Wii is dismissed as a family-friendly console that doesn't have many th game. Fuck. I own a Nintendo Wii. And what are we drinking today? Now we are drinking a Sierra Nevada beer by. <laughs> by celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright, that should work now. You actually have to do this. <laughs> there we go. Now, now it will work. <laughs> yep. Yeah.